What's up, fight fans? Mr. Mustache here. All right, UFC 294 is closing in, and we got a fucking banger of a flyweight fight between Tim Elliott and Muhammad Mikhaev. Man, does this fight get my dick hard. We got the super phenom in Muhammad Mikhaev, 10-0 in his pro career, 23-0 as an amateur. Only 23 years old as well. He's looked better and better. He's been able to put it. He just the best way that I can describe this guy is like smothering ground control, high fight IQ, can mix it up well, relentless pursuit of the finish. But a lot of those things I can also say about Tim Elliott. Now Tim, inconsistent when it comes to his track record, really goes for the finish, win or lose, right? But he's gone out there against the top guys in the world throughout his career, the last seven, eight years. I mean, he's fought guys like Mighty Mouse, um, Demison Figueredo, Brandon Royval, Askar Askarov. I mean, he's gone out there and just fought killer after killer after killer. Writing right now, currently a two-fight win streak. Seems to have a fire reignited within himself. 36 years old, 13 years older than his opposition. So, I mean, statistically wise, it's definitely not going in his favor in this fight. But Tim, man, he's got the super experience. I think that a big thing that's going to work in his favor is his scrambles. He's going to be scrambling all day. I think that's going to be his keys to success is just not letting Ma not letting Mikhaev, if he does get into these dominant positions, to be able to at least explode and scramble his way out of them. Tim has a penchant of getting his neck caught a lot of times. But I think Muhammad also kind of leaves his neck in kind of precarious situations. And <sighs> this is a tough one, folks. Like, on paper, Muhammad Mikhaev should really win this fight. But with Tim being such a super veteran, he's a scrappy fighter. He has a really good penchant of making really good fighters look not so good. And I think I see I see in my head, it's like I either see him just getting choked out really quick, or I see him just grinding out a really hard, tough fought victory. It's gonna be one of the two things I think is either gonna happen. I think Tim's either he's either probably gonna get choked out, or I see him really going out there and giving Muhammad a real tough run for his money. But I think he's gonna have to work really hard for it. Because Makayev, man, like every time I watch that guy fight, he looks better and better and better. And no matter what, I mean, he's willing to fight through pain. That last fight he had against against Feel Feelho, that knee bar that he got caught in was just fucking nasty. And it was just, he sat there and you could see he was in pain. He battled through it, toughed it out, and then literally at four and a half minutes of the third round, found a finish in his for himself. So. He's just, he's relentless, he's young, he's confident, he's good everywhere. So it's hard not to bet against him. Or it's hard to bet against him. And with Tim, he's just such a savvy veteran. He's got a bunch of tricks up his sleeve. He's scrappy. I think his scrambles are going to do well for him. I love this fight. Like, this fight gets me so excited. And we're really going to find out, like, how truly good... I can't say his name. Muhammad Mikhaev. Muhammad Mikhaev. Muhammad Mikhaev. Got to say it, like, ten times fast. This is where we're truly going to see, like, what level he's at. Where his head is at. If the moment is going to be too good for him. Like, too big for him. Because Tim Elliott, man, he's been there, done that against the top guys in the world. For the last several years. So we're definitely going to see here this Saturday. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section. Please let me know. Do you guys think Muhammad Mikhaev is going to go on and stay undefeated. And move on next against these ranked guys in the flyweight division. Or is Tim Elliott going to stop the hype train for Muhammad Mikhaev? Let me know in the comment section. And guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. To continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go fight fans.